Hello, welcome to Tim's TV's blog. Um, Ungus T. Jones, who is Jake from Two and a Half Men, is apparently a Christian. And the 19-year-old just uh, cut a video, apparently, in which he said that the show is filth and that um, you shouldn't watch it. By the way, he makes $350,000 an episode. And the primary reason this church... By the way, I have nothing against Christians. Um, the primary reason this church went after him is because he's famous and he's making $350,000 per episode. There's normally 13 episodes per season. So do the quick math on that. He's pulling down north of four, almost $5,000 or $4 million per season. Um, seasons normally a year. Sometimes they can pop out two seasons in a year, which puts them closer to eight million dollars a year if they can do two in a year or two seasons in a year. Now, here's the thing. He's right. The show is filthy. It's meant for an adult audience. There's a lot of um, stupid sexual humor. Some of the stuff's funny. Some of it's not. Um, my personal thought on it is it's a um, it's very stereotypical. The guy that plays his father is a real idiot. Um, somehow he gets hot women, but he has no confidence. The other guy, Charlie's replacement, is... Um, I like Charlie, by the way. I miss Charlie. I've got one of the Charlie Sheen collection shirts around here. I just didn't happen to put it on. Um, I thought... Um, it's, a, it's a... You know, people know what they're going to get. Um, the main issue of this blog is that uh, Jake made this really stupid comment that I've always heard my entire life. TV causes violence, filth, it degrades to society. Let's be perfectly honest. Television does not do that. Human beings were filthy, vulgar, violent, and sexual before the television was invented, before the internet was invented. If you think back, slavery happened before television, radio... Um, print existed, but most people weren't literate during the times of slavery. And you remember, we ended slavery uh, in the 1860s. Prior to that, slavery was pretty normal throughout human history, going back to the Roman times, before the time of Christ. Violence, war, vulgarity, cruelty, all those things were very commonplace before television. So don't blame television for sexism, violence, cruelty, obscenity. The idea that everybody was a pleasant, nonviolent virgin before the invention of the television is a fundamental lie. Adolf Hitler predated television. The mass uh, extermination of millions of Jews, 20 million Russians, millions of homosexuals, millions of people with uh, mental disorders by the Nazis predates television, but television causes all of our problems. Prior to television, prior to radio, prior to the internet, um, you had mass violence, wars, sexism, racism. Women, not only in the United States, but throughout the majority of the world, couldn't own property. They were the property of their men. Um, democracies generally didn't exist really before the um, Dark Ages in Europe, that means almost everybody was poor. They had called it indentured servitude. Um, the majority, you had very, very few rich royals, and most people were incredibly poor. They were almost slaves. Violence, if you're in the upper class, you could do whatever you want to the lower classes. Women were beaten, had no rights, could never get to court. And in a lot of Muslim countries, women still don't have rights and are regularly beaten. None of this is the fault of television. Sex is not caused by television. It's caused by the human sex drive. By the way, our sex drive comes from God. Thank God for our sex drive. Otherwise, our species wouldn't exist. Eliminating the sex drive would be worse to our species than the Holocaust. Part two, violence is part of human characteristic. It's normal in animals. It's normal in human beings. It predates television. Therefore, television didn't cause it. So when you hear somebody say that the internet or television or radio causes filth or films, understand something. Violence and sex predates television, films, and the internet. Therefore, they're not caused by it. 
So anyone that says that is lying. Please stand up to them and challenge them. History repeats itself. Back um, and then back in the Greek times, the Roman times, people were always complaining about the kids and the violence and the sex, etc. History repeats itself. If you read Aristotle, he was complaining about the same things that are being complained about today more than 2,000 years ago. Human beings are sexual, they're sweet, they're kind, they're violent, they're thieves, and they're generous. We're all those things, every one of us. Television doesn't create it. Movies don't create sin, if that's what you want to call it. Neither does the internet or this blog. One thing, human beings are pretty much the same as they were a thousand, two thousand, and three thousand years ago. We're horny, we're selfish, we can be kind, loving, but at the end of the day, human beings are basically exactly what they've always have been, and a thousand years from now they will be. Television doesn't make us sexual. We were sexual. That's why TV reflects our sexuality, not the other way around. You're watching Tim's TV. Thank you. Have a great day. Love television. I love the internet, and it doesn't cause sin. Love you, and God bless America, and God bless the internet and television.